Hello everyone, welcome to I2 Projects Ideas. In this tutorial, we will build an 8 channel relay control system using Arduino and a Duin display. The system allows you to control your home appliances using the Duin display and Arduino along with relays. You can add additional relays to increase the number of devices that can be controlled up to 16. But for this demonstration, we will use 8 channel relays to control 8 different appliances. If you are unfamiliar with the Duin HMI display, there is a comprehensive getting started tutorial available for the DMG80480 CO7 underscore 04 WTC display. We have previously used the Duin TOS display to view weather monitoring systems, home automation systems, and relay control systems. There are many potential applications for a relay control system using an Arduino and Duin display, including controlling electrical devices, automating processes, and integrating with other systems or devices. The system can be customized and expanded as needed by adding additional relays, sensors, or other components. I am using a 7 inch Duin HMI display to monitor and control AC home appliances. Today's tutorial will be a bit longer because to create a relay control system using an Arduino and Duin display, we first download and install the required software and tools. Design the display UI for controlling relays, upload firmware to the display. Then set up and connect the hardware according to the appropriate wiring diagram. The Arduino must then be programmed using the Arduino ID for controlling the relays with Duin display. Once the code has been written and uploaded to the Arduino, the relay control system should be functional and able to control the devices or systems connected to the relays. Install the required software and tools. To use a Duin display within Arduino, you will need to visit the Duin Global website and download the Digger software XR21X driver from the tools section of the download page. Extract both of these files after downloading them. You do not need to install the Digger software, but you will need to install the XR21X driver on your PC. Once the driver is installed, you will be able to establish communication between the SDL662V board and your PC. The Digger software includes tools like the ICL tool, font generating tool, and image resizing tool. GUI Designing After installing the Digger software and driver, Open the diggers.exe file. By default, the software language is set to Chinese. To change it to English, go to the settings menu and select English as the preferred language. Save the changes and the software will now display in English. Creating new project. To create a new project in the digger software, follow these steps. Click on the new button to start a new project. Select a screen resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. Choose the folder path where you want to save your project. In this example, you can create a new folder called Relay Control and select that as the project folder. Prepare the necessary images or icons for your project. In this example, I have already created these images and icons. Now, go back to Digos and add those two images from the 32 folder. Create ICL files for your images in the Digger software. Follow these steps. Go to the settings menu and click on Digger. A new window will pop up. Click on the ICL tool. In the ICL tool, select the images that you want to include in the ICL file. Generate an ICL file for the selected images and save it with the name 32 in the doing underscore set folder. Similarly, select the button's icons and generate an iShell file as 34 in the same Duin underscore set folder. Repeat this process for any additional images or icons that you want to include in your project. Once you have generated the necessary iShell files, you can then proceed to add functions to your user interface. Configure toggle switch design. To create a control toggle switch for a relay using the Digger software, follow these steps. From the icon display menu, select the bit icon tool. Click on the area where you want to display your icon and resize the module as needed. In the bit icon settings, set the SP address to FFFF, the BP address to 5000 and the AP address to 0000. 
Set the bit control settings for the desired number of relays. For example, if you want to control 8 relays, you can set the bit control settings to O for relay 1, 1 for relay 2, 2 for relay 3, and so on up to 7 for relay 8. Select your icon file, example34.icl and choose the off and on icons for the two states. Leave the other settings as they are. Copy the bit icon by pressing CTRL plus C. Paste the copied bit icon with CTRL plus B and drag the module to the desired location. Repeat this process until you have created a bit icon for each relay that you want to control. Set the bit control settings for each module in incremental order. For example, if you are controlling 8 relays, the first module should have a bit control setting of 0, then second module should have a setting of 1, and so on up to 7 for the 8th module. To create an incremental adjustment module for controlling a relay using the Digger software, follow these steps. From the Touch Control menu, select the increment adjustment module, resize the module as desired. Enable data, auto uploading, and set the VP address to 5000. In the bit parameter, enter the number that matches the bit control setting that is set in the bit icon element. For example, if the bit icon element has a bit control setting of 0, you should enter 0 in the bit parameter of the increment adjustment model. Set the adjust method to plus plus and the over the limit operation to cycle. Set the step length to 1 and upper limit to 1. Set the toss effect to constant setting. Copy and paste the increment adjustment module and set the bit parameter according to for each relay that you want to control. You can adjust the element size as needed. To create on and off buttons for controlling multiple relays using the Digger software, follow these steps. From the toss control menu, select the return key code tool. Enable data auto uploading and set the button effect to 1.png. Set the key value to FFFF and the PP address to 5000. Copy the return key code module and paste it on the off button. Change the key value to 0000 to turn off all the relays. Repeat this process for any additional relays that you want to control. Once you have added all the necessary models to your UI, click on Save and Generate to generate 13 touch files, 14 show files, and 22 config bin files. Preview of newly created GUI. Now you can preview the UI of our project from the display menu. Click on Preview from the first page and you can see our newly created UI in a pop up window. Now, let's prepare our Duin display and SD card for uploading the project to our display. To use a display with an Arduino, you need to pay attention to a small jumper on the display. This jumper determines how the serial port will operate. If the jumper is connected, the serial port will operate in TTL UART mode. If the jumper is not connected, the serial port will operate in RS232 mode. If your display doesn't come up with the jumper installed, you will need to connect the two points or solder a 0 ohm register to the jumper. Next, you need to prepare a memory card and flash the display. To use a micro SD card with the system, it must be 16 GB or smaller and formatted in the FAT32 system. To flash the firmware file on doing display, Copy the doing underscore set folder onto your SD card. Insert the SD card into the LCD display. Connect the USB cable to the SDL board. Power the LCD and wait for the download process to complete. Remove the USB from the PC and SD card from the display. This is the result of our newly created UI after uploading the project file to the display. After completing the design of the GUI for the display, you will need to connect the 8 channel relay model to the Arduino board. You can use any 5 volt compatible Arduino board for this purpose, such as an Arduino Nano. To establish serial communication between the display and the Arduino, 
you will need to connect the relay module to the D2 to D9 pins of the Arduino in RX2 and TX2 pins of the Duin HMI display to the RX2 and TX1 pins of the Arduino. Refer to the circuit diagram for the correct connections. If you are using separate power sources for the Arduino and the LCD, make sure to connect the ground pin of the display to the ground pin of the Arduino. This will ensure that both devices are using the same reference voltage. This code is for controlling A216 relays using a twin touch screen display in an Arduino. The code is written in C++ and is intended to run on any 5V compatible Arduino microcontroller. Certainly, here is a line by line explanation of the Arduino code on our website. You can visit the link provided in the description to download project file, circuit diagram, and program code. Uploading program code. To upload the program code to your Arduino board, you need to unplug the TX2 and RX2 pins from the Duin display. Then select your Arduino board and the correct COM port in your Arduino ID and click the upload button to upload the code. Once the code has been successfully uploaded, you can connect TX2 and RX2 back. Now you can use the user interface on the Duin display to control all 8 of your relays. You can connect electrical devices such as lights, TVs, fans, heaters, etc. to the relays and control them using the dots display. For this demonstration, I am connecting 4 different light bulbs to relays 1, 2, 3 and 4. You can see real-time feedback on the display. We have successfully created an 8-channel relay controller project using the Duin HMI display in Arduino. The user interface looks great on the display. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing projects in the future.